When I first had the diagnosis of heart failure, that definitely was a difficult thing to take in. The symptoms and you know what that might look like in your life is definitely not a lot of good news there. My name is Nancy Cummins. I live in Detroit, Michigan right now, and I'm a, a CPA, a certified public accountant. Probably in my kind of early to mid 30s, I kind of noticed uh, I was kind of slowing down. I couldn't do things physically that maybe were normal, like going upstairs, things like that was kind of more difficult. It seemed like at that time I started to notice something was definitely like not as it should be. The plan for me was to see if I could um, do cardiac rehab and work with some of the medications. That kind of worked for probably about a year and a half, but then I kind of started to notice that my health was kind of deteriorating and my symptoms were getting worse. Dr. Cogger kind of phrased it as, we still want you to be around here, so we probably have to bring you in and see about getting the LVAD. When I first got my LVAD, I was not eligible for transplants. Um, one of the factors that hinders a lot of people is, um, is weight, so I went through the weight management program and through that I was able to get under a weight to qualify for a transplant. I think about a lot of things that I was not able to do before I had my LVAD with when I was struggling with heart failure that I can do now. The idea for potentially doing a 5K or a race that was initially put into my head by Dr. Dennis Kerrigan. I was like, huh, maybe I could. I was really just grateful that I could do it and kind of proud of myself that I was able to do this because I, again, I remember, you know, how sick I was before and I couldn't even, you know, walk from the living room to the kitchen without getting out of breath. The free press marathon, that was a big accomplishment for me that I was able to finish that. With the possibility of getting a heart transplant, there are so many unknowns. Like, you know, I could get it tomorrow or I could get it five years from now. I just try to kind of just make the most of where I am every day and know that, you know, at a moment's notice my life could change again. But I think I'll, I'll just deal with that when it comes. <laughs>